Hey guys, welcome back to my series going remote. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create any graphic that you could possibly need in your business. The tool that we're going to use for this is Canva. It's free and you're going to be able to create gorgeous professional graphics, even if you've never designed anything before. If you are new here, I'm posting new videos every single day for 30 days, all about how to work remotely. So definitely hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any. So you can use this tool for literally anything in your business that requires some element of design. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Let's dive in right now. So all you have to do is go to canva.com and click sign up with email to create an account. So let's talk about pricing. There is a free version of Canva and it is fantastic. So there's a good chance that that will work well for you, but the pro version, which is just $9 and 95 cents per month when billed yearly or 12 95 per month build monthly is fantastic. And there are a lot of additional benefits to this plan. Um, so I do recommend if you can upgrading to Canva pro part of the reason is you're going to get access to more free photos and graphics, but you're also going to get this one click design resize, and you're going to be able to store all your logos, fonts, and colors. So I'll show you that, but yeah, I really recommend the pro version. All right, so let's dive into the back end of Canva. This is what it looks like once you have created an account. And as you can see, they have templates for all different types of designs. So highlight colors, presentations, lesson plans, um, any flyers that you need, like really the list goes on for the templates that they have here for you. And as you can see, we're using this within my business to create any graphic like this is just one of those go-to tools that we are using every single day. Okay. So I'm going to show you now how to use it and then I'll demo those pro features that I talked about that I love so much. So let's click create a design and then you can search for the type of design that you want to create. So for example, if you wanted to create a menu, you could do that. If you wanted to create a graphic for Instagram, you could do that and you will always get all different types of templates that you can use. So let's say that I want to do some cool Instagram stories. I'm going to click Instagram story and it's automatically going to be in the correct dimensions for that graphic type. So we have all these different templates that we can use and customize for our business. So what you're going to do is look for a template that you really like, and then you're going to customize it for your business. Okay. So for example, let's say that I really like this one. I'm going to click on that. Now, sometimes there are multiple designs under one template. That's great. So you can use all of these as individual pages. Um, but if you just want to use that first one, just click here and it will bring it over here on the right. So this right section here is where you edit everything. So everything in Canva to edit it, all you have to do is click on it and then you will see editing options. So for example, for this text here, I can click on that. Then I can double click, delete their text, and then I can write my own. Okay. So super simple. Um, same with the background color. If I click on it, I'll see a little color swatch up here. I can click on that and I can change it to one of my brand colors instead. Then same with the image. So right now we have an image here. I can actually upload my own image and then drag it into position here or even better Canva comes with all these different photos included for you. So let's go over to the photos tab. So let's say that you want to create a design for an upcoming online yoga class that you're doing. You're going to come up here to search your photos, type in yoga. And as you can see, there are all these different photos that you can use to see the free ones. Click on this icon right here, then click on free and apply filters. Okay. So all of these are free images that you can use, but again, you'll get a lot more photos if you are on the pro plan. Okay. So I like this image here. I'm going to grab that and I'm simply going to drag it on top of this rectangle photo here. 
Okay, then from here, I can go up here to where it says crop, and then I can move this around and place that how I want and hit done. Okay, great. Then down here we have a line. So you'll see sometimes that elements in Canva on these templates are grouped together. Uh, that just means so that they will move together. Um, but once you have it in the position that you want, you can click ungroup and then you can edit each of the individual items. So I'm going to click on this line first and I could change that color. Let's say I wanted to just go with white. I can do that. And same with the text. Again, I'm going to double click on it and write my text. Awesome. Okay, so of course there are a whole lot more editing options within Canva, so I'm going to go through those now. So when you click on any text, you will see all these different editing options across the top here. So for example, I could change the font. I could change the size of that font. I can change the color. Um, depending on the font that you choose, you can bold, italicize, or underline. You can change the alignment of that text. You can determine whether it's going to be forced uppercase or not. You can use a bulleted list or numbered list, or you can adjust the spacing. So between your actual letters and between your different lines of text as well. So yeah, as you can see, it is quite flexible and customizable. On top of this, at any point, you can just click on the, on the element and then you'll see a little circle appear in the corners. You can actually click on that and drag it up to increase the size this way as well. Okay, so then in terms of moving elements around, everything is drag and drop. So you can click on it and move it wherever you would like on the design. And at any point, click on the circles and drag those out to change the size. Okay, great. And you know, it has a lot of helpful features as well. For example, these pink lines right now are letting me know that it is a perfect center. Okay, so you're probably wondering about these editing options up here. We have duplicate to, of course, make a copy of that individual element. Then we have position. So position, what I'm normally using are these top ones here where I'm sending it behind the other element. So by hitting backward, it went behind this photo here. So that can be really handy for design. So if I wanna move it back forward, I can absolutely do it. If I wanna put it all the way to the very back, it will go there as well behind all the different elements. So yeah, that is definitely handy. Then we have this one here. This actually copies any of your styling onto a new element. This one is your transparency, so you can adjust that. Then you can add a link. So if this is something like a PDF where people can click on it, you can add a link. And then you can also lock elements in place. So this is really handy. If you have determined, for example, on this image here, okay, I love the placement, it's perfect center, and I don't want it to move at all, you can click on the little lock icon, and that way I can edit elements, I can move them on top of it, for example, but I will never you know, be able to move that image and therefore interfere with the design. Okay, so let's delete this back one here. At any point, you can delete just by hitting the delete key on your keyboard, or you can always come up here and hit the little trash can as well. So as you can see, very customizable. Let's go through the options over here on the left. So the first one is photos, and you'll see literally millions of images that you can use in your designs. Then we have elements. So I use this tab all the time. This is where you get any graphic or illustration that you might want to use for your design. So for example, if I hit see all on featured, it's going to show me all these really cute designs that I can use. So for example, let's say I want to add this bird to my design. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to move it around. And then I can come up here to the color swatch and I can change the color again. So yeah, pretty amazing overall. Again, you can use the search bar up top here and search anything that you want. So let's try yoga and see what it gives us in terms of elements. So these are going to be actual icons or illustrations of people doing yoga or images related to yoga. So not only do we have graphics and elements, 
but we also have special photo grids and frames like this for your images, plus moving stickers. I can't cover everything in this one tutorial, but have fun with this section and experiment with all the different things that you can add to your design. Next, we have text. So if you wanted to add additional text, you can come over to text and then you can add a heading, subheading, or any different font combination. So if I just click on this font combination here, it's going to populate on the right side here. Okay, then Canva recently is just adding more and more options to customize your design. So the addition of music is something that is more recent. They also have stock videos that you can use in your designs. You can change the background, of course. So you can either, you know, what we did before to click on the background and change the color, or you can come to this background tab and you can use different photos, gradients, patterns. So let's click on that. And as you can see, that just changed the background to a cute little cherry design. So let's, let's change this to a gradient instead so you can see. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna delete these. And when I click on the trash can, if it's been grouped together, you'll see you can delete an individual element or the entire group. So I'm gonna delete that group. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that you can upload any of your own images. So for this uploads tab, as you can see, I was uploading screenshots, I've uploaded photos of myself, and then I can incorporate that into my design. So to do this, you can simply click upload an image or video, or you can actually have a folder open on your computer and you can just drag the images in here. So let me show you that. Let's go over to my downloads. Let's say I want to add this graphic here. Okay, I'm going to click on that, drag it on top of this section here and it will upload for me. And then I can go ahead and click on any of these uploads and add them to my design. Then finally, we have folders here at the bottom and this is a way for you to organize all your different designs as well as any elements that you might be using repeatedly. So yeah, this is just a very powerful tool that I think will really come in handy for your business. Let me show you the little likes feature actually, because this is very handy. Click on elements and let's say you find something and you want to use it again and again in your business. You're just going to hover over it. Then you'll see three little dots like this. You can click on that and add to likes. So now that's going to be easily accessible in that likes folder. So let's go into folders and then likes and you'll see everything that I've liked and use, I use this one a whole lot, uh, you'll see it stored here. So that is a very simple tutorial on how to use Canva. Let's clean up this uh, design here. Okay, so I've changed that background back. Okay, awesome. So now let's talk about those pro features. So as I said, you're going to get a lot more photos and elements that you can use for free when you are on the pro plan. And on top of this, you also get the resize feature. So if you click on resize, it's going to pull up all different design types that you could need. So for example, we just created this awesome design for Instagram stories, but let's say that we also want to use it as a Facebook post. I can simply check Facebook post and then I can click copy and resize. And this is then going to remix this design for me and turn it into the correct dimensions for a Facebook post. So that is a huge time saver and one of the reasons that I think you should upgrade to pro. Okay, then on top of this, if I go into our home area and then click on brand kit, you'll see that I have been able to upload my logos. Um, I've been able to store all of my brand colors as well as my fonts. I've been able to upload fonts, um, create different color palettes for different products that I might have or previous clients. So yeah, this is a phenomenal addition, which you get on the pro plan. So then when you are in a design, when I click to change the color, my color palette is right here. It's saved and it's easily accessible. So again, just a huge time saver. So what about sharing this design? You're probably wondering about that. Whenever I need to share it, you do have 
lots of different options in Canva, but what I do is simply just hit download. They'll give you the suggested file type, so you often will not even need to worry about what type of file you're selecting. Um, they'll suggest that for you, and then you just hit download. So yeah, it is very simple. You can download as a PNG or a JPEG, which are images. Then you can download as a PDF if you're doing you know, something for print or a ebook or something like that, you can do a PDF. Then of course, download as a video and you can also do GIFs as well. So the options are endless. Uh, here are as well a few more reasons that you might want to upgrade for Pro. You can download designs with a transparent background and you can also compress files right here within Canva. So yeah, that is a basic tutorial of how to use Canva. I hope that this helps you dive in, have fun, experiment with the tool and you will be a Canva Pro in no time. All right guys, that's it for today's video. So now you're going to be able to create any graphic that you could possibly need in your business. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what type of graphics you're going to be creating. And if you think others would benefit from this video, please share it with them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with another video.